Conference Chair Siobhan McDonough, Mitchum and Morden. Conference, every day of the last 12 years, I have been the luckiest person in the world, doing the best job in the world, representing the constituency in which I was born as a Labour MP. Every day has been an honour to fight for the reopening of the hospitals closed by the Tories, for getting a station promised since the 1930s, and for opening two new city academies which now finally give our young people a chance. Not for me has it ever been the international issues, respecting for those for who it was a priority, but not for me. That is not until the stream of Tamils who came to my weekly advice surgery became a torrent, until they told me that they couldn't find their mums, their dads, their kids, their aunts, their uncles, until the young man rolled up the shirt of his sleeve to show me the arm that he had slashed in desperation because nobody was listening to his concern for his family and that he could do nothing for them. Not until my trip to the newsagents became an emotionally harassing experience as I held his hand and he cried and told me that he had not heard from his brother in four days or his nieces or his nephews. Not until one cold March night I stood on the bridge at Westminster and saw hundreds of young British Tamils who fill our medical schools and our business schools sit down on that bridge and demand that we did something for their families. And then that night I realised that their fight was my fight. That if we didn't help them, then our British democracy failed them and we couldn't afford to let it fail them. This government has done everything that we have asked of it to support the Tamil people and to fight the Sri Lankan government. And I will always be proud of David for going to Sri Lanka with his French counterpart to ask for the war to stop. But you know, it's more about more than the government. It's about every one of us. Next time you want to buy underwear from Marks and Spencers, you want to buy a t-shirt from Next. You want to go on a holiday of a lifetime in a beautiful island off the coast of India? Do you really want to spend your money on a government that chooses to lock 300,000 people up behind barbed wire? A country that is the most dangerous in the world to be a journalist. A country where we can see on Channel 4 News young men naked and bound shot at close range. Is that what we want for our money, for our democracy? I ask you not only to support the emergency resolution on the situation in Sri Lanka, but I ask you to use your money and not prop up that government.